there are various ways of sharpening your pencil. I've got eight different methods to sharpen your pencil and we're going to test them today to figure out which is the best way to sharpen your pencil. So this is a little offshoot lesson from my beginner's pencil drawing course. If you haven't followed that course yet, I'm going to leave a link for you over here and you can go and follow that. So let's go and take a look at the eight different methods that I've got and let's start testing them. Alrighty, let's start off over here. Yeah, I've got a really standard metal school sharpener. Here's another one. It's a plastic one. This is an art pencil sharpener. This one here, you sharpen your pencil in different stages. So it's multiple pencil sharpeners in one. This one over here was from the General Pencil Drawing Company and they advertised it as a drawing and sketching sharpener. This is an electric sharpener, then there's some sandpaper, and the trusty old knife. So we'll start with the basic one, which is these two guys over here, and let's see how do they sharpen your pencil. So to sharpen my pencil, I've just got a, a box of pencils here. I think I've used one out of them, but otherwise they are brand new out the box. I've just got this one here that I have sharpened before, so let's put him one side. So as you can see, they're all brand new pencils. And I think to make sure that we start off on an even footing, let's take some sandpaper and I'm going to flatten all the tips on these pencils over here so that none of them are sharp. Because getting a nice sharp point is part of the sharpening process, right? Awesome, now we can start off with nice blood pencils and see how it goes. First up, we've got the standard metal school sharpener. Yeah, and as expected, it's given us a, a nice standard point. Uh, it's got a good tip on it, so that's great. Okay, let's try the plastic school pencil sharpener. And this one seems to give us a slightly longer point, but still a nice sharp tip. What I do find with these little school ones though, is often that they, they'll break the tip as you're sharpening, which is never a good thing. Alrighty, let's move on to the the art pencil sharpener. So the difference between him is, can you see here, the, the length of the blade is a lot longer and is at a narrower angle. So he should sharpen us to a nice sharper point. So the reason why you want a nice sharper point when drawing is that it saves you from having to sharpen your pencil so often. Right, he's given us a, a nice long point. And if I compare it to that, it's it is longer, but not significantly longer. So that guy is handy to have, but he's not the, not the best one around. Okay, so let's put those guys aside. And let's move on to this sharpener over here. So let me show you the, what the packaging said. It says, used for drawing and sketching, broad strokes and coverage, and calligraphy practice. So the idea with this one is that it would shave you a nice chisel point, which is great, because this is that's one of the points that I, I show you how to sharpen using the knife. So if we can use something like this, that would now obviously save us a, a lot of time. So let me just show you the bottom of the the packaging as well, so it's from, from over there and it's not a sponsored video or anything like that. Alrighty, so I'm going to try them just on a, on, a, on a standard pencil first. So the idea is it's got two blades on this side and two blades on that side. So you can use this guy, you put your, your pencil in like this and then you move it across like that and it sharpens the one side. Then you turn it around and you do it again and then it sharpens the other side of the pencil. So let's see how it works. I 
Let's see if anything's happening over there. Yeah, I'm getting a bit of a, a bit of a, a point over there. Let's turn him around on that side and see what happens. It's nothing dramatic though. Okay, so nothing is happening there. So I'm assuming that's for a bigger pencil or something. I'm gonna just keep doing this for a while. It's not that easy. Okay, that seems to be as far as he's going to give me a chisel point. He's not bad. He's not bad. What I would like to have is just more of the of the lead exposed. Like that. And then also if I look at that side over there, he still seems to be pretty blunt, you know, versus uh, the, the ideal, what you want. So if I look on the packaging, I am seeing bigger pencils. Can you see how thick these lines are samples that they're showing you? So maybe it's better for crayons and and like carpenter's pencils and stuff. So I did go ahead and go and buy a carpenter's pencil for us to test that. So the carpenter's pencils look like this. So I've never drawn with a carpenter's pencil to be perfectly honest. And when I was at the hardware store, I did see that they do come in different hardnesses, hard, medium, and soft. So which actual grade they are, if it's a B, 2B, HB, I don't know. I'm assuming that will be an HB, the medium one. So, yeah, we'll, we'll sharpen one. So let's start with a hard one. Yeah, it's giving me a bit of a shave, but you know, to be perfectly honest, I think this this thing for pencil drawing is absolutely rubbish. So let's move on to the next pencil sharpener. Alrighty, so the next pencil sharpener on the list looks like this. So as you can see, let's open him up. It's multiple sharpeners in one. So the idea here is that you can sharpen your pencil and get a long length of the lead exposed and have a nice, beautifully sharp tip. So as you can see, it starts off broad and it goes thinner and thinner and thinner to get a sharper and sharper point and a thinner and thinner point. So this guy over here, is, as you can see, is a little bit too big for the pencil. So you you won't start there. He's meant for these thicker pencils like this, like the 9XB, which are fit perfectly in there. So we're sharpening just a, a standard pencil today, and look how blunt the tip is. So I won't start there. I'll start over here, where it does fit nicely. And I'll leave the the cover off so you can see what's happening. So initially, he's not even sharpening the tip. He's sharpening over here. So let's remove that. All right, so can you see what's happened? He's flattened off some of that. So it's gradually shaving off more and more of the wood. So that eventually is going to expose the, the lead. Okay, can you see how thinner that is there now? Move on to the next one. So as you go along, you do now need to be more and more careful of this. But can you see there? I've ex literally not exposed a whole length of lead there already. If I just stop at that. Hey, can you see there? So usually at this point, what you'd want to do is if there's just a little sliver like this that hasn't come off, you can usually just carefully peel that off. like that. All right, let's move on to the next one, which is the second last one. So now you've got all that lead exposed. So you have to be super careful. So I'm going to just gently
sharpen this tip. What I'll often do even is I'll, I'll start off on this side because this sharpens the very tip. Just carefully rotate him very gently. That's in the end of the day, that's what we end up with. A nice long exposed, it hasn't got a nice perfect tip as I, as I would ideally like, but that's what you've got. But it does save you from having to shave it with a knife to expose the, the graphite. On the top of the box, it does also have just a little bit of sandpaper, which is used now to finish off that final little sharpening of the tip. So everything you need to sharpen your pencil perfectly as you want it is in this pencil sharpener. Next up is the electric pencil sharpener. He is one of my favorites and I use him on a daily basis. What's nice about him is he's got two different settings. The first one is just a, a blunt tip and the other one is a long tip. So I'll always start off with a blunt tip. So I turn him that way and I'll put him in. So see if I can run him sideways. So all you do is you press down and then the motor starts turning. That instantly gives you a nice long tip. So let's compare him to that art pencil sharpened, the, the art pencil sharpener. So can you see instantly I've got myself a, a much longer tip. Okay, so now we can sharpen him further, so we turn him, so that it's on the long tip setting. Let's do it again. And just look at that. You have yourself a beautifully long tip, so let's compare him to the art sharpener. And let's compare him to that other manual one that we used. Yes, that's great. That one is nice. You can make this expose as much lead as you want to. And I know a lot of people like to expose the long length of lead. So that, that, that sharpener would work well for them. What I like with this one here, though, is can you see it's continuously tapered? Whereas this one still just has a, a quick taper. So that continuous taper does give you a longer draw on the pencil. Fabulous. We'll put him one side. And now let's move over to the knife. All right, so we'll take the knife. And let's sharpen him. What I like about the knife is I have lots of control. I can also quickly expose a long length of lead like this without damaging the lead. As you can see like that, so that quickly gets us to very similar to the, the, the multi-stage one. And now you can just shave this guy like this. So I'm just gradually turning the pencil as I go. And that gives me a nice sharp tip. So let's compare him to the the art pencil sharpener. And we'll compare him to the the multi-stage. Okay, so the multi-stage doesn't have that sharp tip, 
but you get the same effect and I think in, in pretty much the same amount of time. Great, let's put him one side. Okay, and then the last one we're going to test is just good old sandpaper. So we'll take our pencil and I'm going to just hold it in my hand like this. And I'm going to just gradually rotate it in my hand as I'm sanding. So let's take a look. The flatter you're going to hold this guy to the to the table, the sharper your point is going to be. So it's quite a, obviously quite dirty in the, the the wood over there, but I can see I've, I did manage to get myself a beautifully sharp point, very similar to your your school tip from the school pencil sharpener. So it is good for general work. The problem though is it doesn't like to shave the wood. It's not an efficient way of shaving the wood. It would take you a very long time. So you can't really use it for that. You're not going to get that kind of a tip using the sandpaper quickly and efficiently. It would take you ages to get to that point. So let's take a look at all these different points that we've sharpened and compare them side by side. Alrighty, so there's all our different pencil points side by side. I like this one here with the multi-stage cutter. He gives you a nice sharpen, except he doesn't give you that really sharp point. But you can always just use your sandpaper to do that final work over there. I like the electric one. He gives you a really, really nice long point really, really quickly. Plus he gives you a sharp point. And if you do need to really super sharpen the point for fine, fine details, you can use this or you can just use a mechanical pencil for that last little bit of sharpness. And I really do like the knife. He's quick, he's efficient, and you do finish off using the sandpaper. So the sandpaper on its own is no use. School pencil sharpeners are only good for very basic work. Leave them to the school kids and these little art sharpeners. Yeah, I'm not so impressed. These guys over here supposed to give you that flat chisel point. I don't recommend them whatsoever. They are rubbish. So in summary, here's what I would recommend you get. Two of those guys, if you got the money, get yourself a nice electric pencil sharpener. They're quick, they're battery operated, they're rechargeable, they're portable. You can take them wherever you want. Or use a knife and some sandpaper. Those are the two best ways of sharpening a pencil by a country mile. So now you know the best way of sharpening your pencil. If you enjoy comparison videos like this, I've got another one which I'll leave right over here on the different types of pencil drawing papers. Go and check it out. And then, of course, don't forget to like and subscribe, and I'll leave a link to my website on the screen over here for you. Take care. I'll see you next time.